Carlos Rosario, in 1970, had this idea of establishing a program to teach English to immigrants. So I decided to try it out, to give him a hand, and, and started working part-time in the evening, making $7 an hour as a counselor. I came to Washington, D.C., fresh out of undergrad, and got a part-time teaching job at the Carlos Rosario School in the evening. So the program kept growing, the school kept growing. When I came to this country, the school was in, um, on Wisconsin Avenue. The name of the school was Gordon School. I took two semesters, then I decided to go back. And the funny thing is I went back to the same school on Wisconsin Avenue and I find out that the school was closed. DC was going through a major financial crisis and looking at making budget cuts. And like this, our school was eliminated. Uh, when the school closed, it was a death. We felt like we lost a member of our uh, family. I felt sad at that moment because I remember how hard it was to keep that school open. I was in such a state of depression, it was very hard for me to even get up in the mornings. So I went home and I said, I'm gonna start writing proposals to reestablish the school. After the traditional public school closed, we were the Carlos Rosario Career Center and we were fundraising with a little grant here and a little grant there to survive. So the charter school law had been authorized here in Washington, D.C. And thank God, it included a provision for adult education. So uh, we knew that there was experience there and just the general uh, support of the community uh, at the hearing uh, indicated that there was obviously a community that was interested in this. So as soon as we learned that our charter school application had been accepted, it was all right, that's, let's rock and roll. So we spent a number of months driving throughout Washington, D.C. With, with Sonia uh, looking for buildings. At the end of the day, we were able to secure this building and provide the capital. We helped put together the package. I went back to school, and that's how I find out that the school now was on Harbor. I was shocked when I got in. I was like, wow, I, I couldn't believe it. Uh, so when I got the call from Sonia Gutierrez and she asked me if I wanted to come back, I said, yes, most definitely. Over the years, as our enrollment grew, our programs also grew. The school is bigger and better than ever. Here we are 47 years later. <laughs>